Hi, my name is Amy Bronson and I'm running for Seesaws at Large for the CSA Board of Directors. I'm originally from Lethbridge, Alberta and I moved here three years ago to study international development. I have an emphasis in economics and business. Uh, I originally was pursuing a women's studies minor, but I'm currently um, working towards marketing minor. I really believe in ideals of human agency and participation. Uh, and I like bikes and guitars. Um, and I have been on the board of directors since October, and I'm looking to be reelected. I want to be on the CSA Board of Directors because I believe that the CSA shapes a lot more of our experience as students, as undergraduate students at the University of Guelph than I think we, originally, we initially expect. Uh, after sort of passively observing the decisions and the events of the CSA uh, and the general student unions uh, going on, um, I decided that it was important for me to actively engage with it and really understand the results that students um, experience. So that being said, I think that the big decisions made by the CSA um, are very important to me and they're important to the undergraduate student body. Uh, I believe that students need to be actively engaged in this and I would like to participate and represent student voices through this procedure. Some of the skills that I have that I think make me an ideal candidate to continue to sit on the board of directors is the experience I've had in the past five months. I've been able to really get a, a broad grasp of how the CSA functions and I'd like to continue that and develop those skills. As well, um, through my interdisciplinary academic background, I have taken things like financial accounting. So when I see a financial report, I'm able to understand that, and I think that that adds a lot to my perspective and my ability to in engage with what I, I think that is, is the best course of action on the board of directors. I also really believe in the anti-oppressive and accessibility mandates that the CSA upholds, and I am very committed to uh, receiving anti-oppression training and actively engaging in, in, in those activities and, way, and acting in ways that will, will uphold that mandate. Well, as I mentioned previously, I used to just sort of follow what happened at the CSA and never really contact anyone or ask questions. Since uh, becoming a member of the board, I've realized that the bylaws and the policies of the CSA are extremely important to understand. So I've taken uh, it upon myself to try and um, engage with those as best as I can and take the time and the opportunity to, to understand how these work and how a not-for-profit corporation functions, like our own here. So uh, yeah, I've also been on the board for five months, as I've mentioned, and been involved in some of the subcommittees of the CSA runs. So I sit on the Shack Review Committee, which is just to oversee the Student Help and Advocacy Center and uh, general you know, uh, accountability of those sorts of things. As well, I've been very active on um, an independent research committee to look at bottled water in the bullring and survey students' responses to the potential removal of that bottled water. So lots of um, interesting opportunities here to really get into the depths of the CSA board. My goal is, if I'm re-elected, will be to, first of all, do everything I can to, con to increase my dialogue with my constituents. So I'm looking at starting a blog and making that 
um, available to students and having a, spreading awareness of it. And this blog will hopefully outline what I intend on voting about in the CSA meetings prior to the meetings, uh, to the best of my ability, and general information and results of my decisions and other decisions of the entire board together. So that if people are curious as to what their representative will be doing that particular Wednesday night, they can contact me in advance uh, and, and discuss it with me. I'm, I'm really curious to see how to get more students engaged and informing me of what they would like to see happening. As well, I think that under that same umbrella of engagement, is we have the annual general meetings and those tend to be under attended to the extent that we don't reach quorum and we have very difficult structural problems to solve as a board of directors. I would like to work with the communications and corporate affairs commissioner as they plan that and really reach out to students and have face-to-face -face promotion of the annual general meeting. So that means more classroom speaking and telling people why they should care about the CSA because a lot of their money goes into things like failed annual general meetings and I think that that needs to stop. So those are my two main goals all about engaging students. I think that the College of Social and Applied Human Sciences is a particularly diverse college. It's the largest college that we have here at the University of Guelph and it's very interdisciplinary. The program that I study, International Development, is by definition an interdisciplinary study. So I'm involved in very um, different areas of academics on a regular basis, which I think gives a fairly well-rounded perspective of, of academics at the University of Guelph. That being said, I, I do think that I don't know everything that goes on within the college and I don't understand every program. So I'm interested in, in hearing from people that are in other programs. So hopefully I can continue to find avenues to do that whether that's attending the Seesaw's pub nights or just asking somebody, you know, what college are you in, what do you think of this on the bus, if it comes to that. So, I really hope that I can continue to represent as best as I can. I think that the most important thing going into this election is for students to do a little research and then vote. Uh, please vote in this election. If you're not in my college, vote for whoever you can and really engage with the student union and think about what it means to you to have a student union and to be represented democratically at this level uh, as an undergraduate student. Uh, if you'd like more information about me, please send me an email at abronson at uoguelph.ca or look me up on Facebook or Google me, something like that. Um, I'd be happy to engage with you and have a discussion. Um, and I would hope that you all have a really nice day and enjoy being an undergraduate represented by the CSA. Thanks.